Okay, y'all, now th I'm at the Dollar Tree, and I always think when I go into the Dollar Tree, I'm going to have a wonderful experience. But really, this is what I'm working with uh, on the south side of Atlanta, so we barely have anything in this Dollar Tree. And I am just looking around for some stuff that I can use to make some quick baskets for Valentine's Day. Now here's a really cute photo frame. Um, I don't know why it's all the way up here. It's from the Dollar Plus section. But that's really cute. Um, I love this one. I love the representation of the African American couple in there. Love that. Cute wall hangings. Um, some of those stakes, yard stakes, can be used for some of the bigger bears, like they can hold it. They have some cute decor. I usually don't use a lot of that in my baskets. Um, I did grab a couple of these bags to actually make basket bags from. And then I see that they have a lot of, my valentine is my dog. I have a dog. I don't want my dog to be my valentine. but. These cake toppers actually make cute picks to go into your basket um, without necessarily saying Valentine's Day or Happy Valentine's Day. Some of the other things in here that I am going to get is a couple of the 10 packs of toys and games for kids. That way I can make my cute, quick kids baskets. I uh, looked at this gift tissue, but there wasn't enough in the pack. Uh, for me to pay the 125 for it just for the decorative they usually have some better kind you know more like this the bigger sheets go a longer way um, these are really cute you can put candy in those like little hearts but guys it is nothing in here like a few tins okay we got some heart plates now these I can kind of work with um, I have an idea for these and I'll probably just end up getting this whole box uh, because if I don't I promise you it will not be here um, I see the bath bombs that's cute to go in it but I definitely have to get some bears my husband loves bears so I will have to get some bears I'm just dropping them into my cart um, and if I don't use these, I'll use the ones that I got from Family Dollar that are actually a dollar and they're a little bit bigger than these. I think these are cute with the kind of sequin heart ears, the heart on its body, and then the little sequin feet. This is going to be a quick, really easy, simple gift to make. This is something that probably cost $5 to make and that you can sell three or four times your money easily. Um, and I'm going to show you how to put this together. So basically what we have is, and I got a whole bunch of these heart plates. I mean, you see, I, my husband is the master of picking up the whole case and just bringing it home. So now I have all these hearts. So they actually came in red and they came in the pink color. So I think what we're going to do today is work with the pink color. So I have my little pink heart plate. First thing I'm going to do is take the tag off. And normally um, I use a heat gun to take this off, but these come off pretty well. Take that off. And then I got these cute little body ecology sets. This is from Walmart clearance. Um, we ended up getting these at the 50% off. So these were probably like $1.50 and it's the fragrance mist and it's the body cream. And then an idea I had, this actually has the card attached to it and it also has scratch and sniff. This one's strawberry cheesecake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like take the scratch and sniff part off 
and attach it to the outside because half the battle when you're selling on the street is people are always like, well, what does that smell like? Or does that smell good? But as you can see, they can just, this one is sweet love. You can just do the scratch and sniff, tell them, and they can smell it and decide if they want one versus the other. So with these, I'm just going to use um, the plate, the body ecology set. Now these we got from Dollar General. This is just the true living candle. A lot of candles I get, I get from a wholesale supplier here in Atlanta. Um, but I wanted to show something that I know that everybody could basically get. And I save my boxes um, because I usually wrap these little boxes right back up and use them as stands to make levels and heights on uh, my gifts. So. But this fresh cut roses, it smells so good. So I'm going to actually, so when I was looking at this, here's my little bear. So I got all my little bears from Dollar Tree. Um, but I get a lot of them too from Family Dollar. And I just pick some up every time I go. Because um, you can never have enough of these little baby bears. Y'all, I'm not even a bear fan, but people love bears, I'm telling you. So get you some bears and put them in your gifts if you can. Not all of your gifts have to have bears, but I have to um, mow his head like a baby because these bears look crazy sometimes coming out of the box. So at first I was kind of deciding how could I fit him in there. I was trying to fit him in the corner, you know, like this. Um, but then I was having a hard time, like getting everything to fit, but just turning it around allows the bear to fit with his back to the point. One of the little heart dips is for the candle and the other little part is for the body mist in lotion. And this fits together perfectly. This literally took 30 seconds to sit this in here. Um, you can use glue dots. And let me tell you, the glue dots, you can order them from Amazon. But you can also get them at Dollar Tree. They're in the party section. They're balloon dots. So you'll see like um, where they sell the balloons and all the birthday party stuff. You'll see these dots. Um, so push come to shove and you can't get them from Amazon and you want to get glue dots, grab some from Dollar Tree. So I just put a couple on the edge of, um, I always put them on the edge because I'm telling you, putting them in the middle, it's not going to stick. So if you just put them on the edge, just rub it and peel it off, it sticks right down. See? And then the bear, I just put the glue dot on his tag. He's on there, put it on the tag. And then wherever I sit him, I just press the tag down and now he's staying. Then on the bottom of this, I put another couple of glue dots. Position it where I want it, sit it down, pull his little face to the side, and that is it. Now you can do shred. I mean, you don't have to because there's not a whole bunch of space in here. But if you want to put a little shred in here, you can. Like I said, it's not a lot of space, but... You know, if you don't want to see holes in your basket or in your design, just add a little bit of shred. And I'm telling you, we did probably, if I get a case of these hearts, I think we got two cases of these. 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is twenty-four in a case. I think we got two cases of them, so forty-eight. Well, we had to get three cases of them, and I didn't even know that he was still buying cases. But um, I know we did two cases, so I know we've already done forty-eight of these. So just do the math. If you bomb for got all this stuff for five dollars and you make 40 of them you invested two hundred dollars but if you do it for four times your money selling them for twenty dollars a piece and you do 40 of them it's eight hundred dollars so something that took you 30 seconds to put together so i mean literally on a weekend a half a day you can put together 40 of these and make you 800, make, make $800. Very easy to do. And these are the gifts that people want to be able to get to grab and go. These are the gifts that may not necessarily be for the love of your life, but these are the gifts that's for my child's teacher, the lady next door who was sweet and, you know, does whatever, or, or just some nice people you know. Like these are the $15, $20 gifts that people just want to grab. This is where people say, give me 10 of them. I'm giving them all the people I work with. So you can make your money and you can make it really, really quick. I do a lot of these gifts. Um, and when I say a lot of them, I mean 150, 200 of small 15 20 dollar gifts mug gifts and little gifts like this um because you make your money quick and um on our table we can advertise like starting at 15 dollars or something like that it draws people to your table um not that we're not going to have the big giant baskets and i can show you guys those too i will make a video showing the big giant baskets that we're going to do huge bears and we got foot spas and um and I'll probably do a video showing our garage, which is just, I mean, we can't get our cars in there anymore. It's full of basket making stuff. So let me stop rambling. So the other thing, so when it's time to put it in the bath, this is a, this is a 12, this is a 12 by 16 by four. And the four is this gusset down at the bottom they call them flat bottom bags so you see how they fan out um, this allows you to get something that has a little bit more depth into your bag and it doesn't take up a lot of room because what happens is if you put something once you take up the space front and back it shortens your bag so a lot of times if you get longer bags it works better or if you get a bag with a gusset so i'm just going to slide my little bear down in here he can sit right up on that flat bottom okay and then I just twist tie him together usually get these twist ties I get this kind or I get this kind this is the kind I mostly use and these I get in packs of a thousand from Amazon so I always have these twist ties available but these twist ties came with some of the bags I have and since they were basically free with the bag, I'm going to use these because these are my inexpensive gifts. So I'm going to use them for that. I'm going to tape down the bottom with transparent tape. So you just want to get the gusset. And I just kind of tape it to the back. Actually, let me put a little snip under here to let the air out of the bag. We'll squeeze some of the air out. That makes it easier to tape. 
So you just want to roll the side. And that's it for that. Then the last thing I do is make my bow. These are going to be really easy, simple bows. This is my, um, I get a lot of this ribbon from a place called Nashville Wraps. This is an inch and a half wide. And this roll was 50 yards. I'm telling you, you can never have too much ribbon. So this ribbon is wired ribbon. Um, so it does have like the really thin wire in here, but it's not very stiff. But it's enough to where, you know, if I actually bend it, it will see it, it will hold the shape. So, but it's not, you know, the stiffest of ribbons. I mean, Hobby Lobby, there's some places, but you will pay for some really high quality ribbon. And I usually save those for my bigger gift baskets that I make more money on. So with this ribbon, I basically use a little tail and I kind of see like how big I want the bow to be. Pinch, I have my little tail. Fold another one, pinch, and then I twist. And I just always twist. Um, I got used to doing it because sometimes ribbon has a side that you can see and then a plain side and to avoid ever seeing the plain side you always have to twist your ribbon so i just got used to twisting so i twist regardless of whether it's got a two side or not i'm just going to make four loops i twist the last twist cut my tail and then this ribbon i got from dollar tree and as you can see this is um, two and a half inch ribbon. So it's a little wider than this one, but it's only nine feet, which is three yards, which again, this is 50 yards. And I probably paid $8 for 50 yards. And this is a dollar 25 for three yards. So I'm telling you, get, go online, this place, Nashville wraps, they have beautiful boxes, gift wrap, tissue paper. It's usually where I get my wrapping paper. Um, because I can get big rolls, big colors, um, or I'm sorry, not big colors, but big quantities of various colors. Um, and I probably pay $20 for the roll of wrapping paper and it will wrap a hundred boxes. So, I mean, if you're gonna do this, start buying your stuff in bulk. I can tell you that right now because this because it's a dollar 25 i think it's cute uh but i'm only going to use a little piece of this i'm not going to use this to make my whole bow i just cut a little piece like this and i pinch it in the middle and i just use it as an accent so i am not you know, that's all. I'm just, I'm just giving them a little bit, just a little taste of the pattern. And then the majority is the plain ribbon, um, which is perfect because that's where, cause I, I don't, I just don't want to waste money like that. So I use a twist tie. I twist it around. That's it. That's the bow. And then for the ends, you fold and you want to cut from the wired end up. So you fold it over and this is the wired end. You can see the edge here. So never from the fold, from the open end. You want to cut open end up. That's what makes the dovetails. Same thing with here. And be careful with this Dollar Tree ribbon, y'all, because I don't know if you can see, but the wires, they stick out. I can't tell you how much this wire has been in my fingers and feet. So be careful with this Dollar Tree ribbon. Um, so the open end, and I'm going to cut from the corner up.
And then this wired end from the corner up. And you can just add this just with the twist tie. You can just add this right onto your bag. Twist it, fold it around so it's not sticking out the back. And then turn your bow, fluff it, you know, and arrange it however you want to where you think it looks cute. And that is it, guys. So if you like this video and you want to see more, click like. Um, hit the subscribe button. Join us on this journey. This is the beginning of basket season. It lasts for about six months. Um, so follow along with Lee and I as we continue to make baskets for this 2024 season. Share this video with a basket maker you know. And leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of things you want to see or if you want any inf more information on the ribbon, um, how I come up with concepts or anything like that, leave me a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And here's the finished product, guys. A $240 investment, $960 return.